it clap clips onto your original mirror. So any vehicle, I hate this dinging, but if I shut the dinging off, you know, it's just whatever. So it clips to the original mirror. You run it behind the headliner. You run it down the side of here. Run it down the back, all the way down. This one removes. You can get behind here. Take the frickin' screws out of the, the face plate here. Lift that out. Run the wiring that way. Now, it's hard to see, but basically what I'm gonna end up doing is actually running uh, the wire along the back here, and then cut it, drilling, ugh, cutting. Sorry, I, I literally just woke up. So drilling through the back of the cab wall because there's a gap. So I'm gonna drill through the back of the cab, run the wiring this way, all the way underneath the vehicle, and pop out right on the rear. So I got my backup camera installed. Then, that's just the wiring of the main drag <coughs> freaking cable. Then you got this, I made this one last night, I braided this up last night, extended this for the freaking they don't give you enough wiring for anything. That's what I said. You need you need like a fucking instruction manual. <clears throat> so this wire here, if you could see this clearly, this is your grounding wire or your power wire. There's two of them. One's for the camera and the other one's for the the monitor. Well, if I go to stick that from there to run it to here to run it down to run it under the dash and up through the, the engine compartment, you know, it's not going to reach. That thing is so annoying, i got to sh sh shove something in there. That shit's never going to reach into the engine compartment where it needs to go. And it, up to the battery, it's never going to reach. I mean, it's fucking retarded. Because you, you need a direct power source. Don't, don't do the stupid connected to a fuse crap. Go straight to the main source. That's All right, so we got the backup camera. I positioned it on the rear. I connected the wiring for the ground plug. You got the and then you got the other parts. So here's the other parts under the vehicle, right here. Before I'm done, everything's getting wrapped. So I ran this wiring. I'm running it under my truck. I run it next to the spare tire and the. Uh, the frame, it's going above my leaf springs. So everything, like I said, once I'm done, everything's going to get a little bit more secure, but yeah, it's running above the leaf springs. Ow. Ow. Oh. Fucking D-ring. Alright. The other wire that I said was for the power runs into uh, your reverse link switch, which I'll show you how to tap into that. The rest of the wire. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the truck. So as you see above the leaf spring comes the wire. I put it above my fuel filler hose and my fuel uh, uh, fumes uh, pipe is what those two pipes are for, for the, uh, uh, the gasoline. I drilled a hole through my cab, which was the last thing I wanted to do. Uh, three, and have three drill bits and four batteries later, I finally got a hole for drilled. Uh, that is some thick ass metal that's on these Dodge Rams. That or my drill bits really suck ass, which they probably do because I've drilled into so much metal. They just don't have anything. I drilled that through there into the back of the cab. <sighs> through the back of the cab. It's hard to see where it's coming from because there's so much shit in the back. But you can kind of see it, it's back there. You know, you can see the wire coming this way. And it goes right under the plate here. Uh, if anybody wants to know how the hell you get your hand in there, make sure your arm is about the size of mine. Okay? I literally, I twist my arm down, and I just go right down. And I just feeling around, feeling around. Then I shove both hands, and I was able to get my other hand in here. Just gonna shove it in. That's what you gotta do. Run it under here. This is the wiring for the connecting the two devices together. You run it up through here. You run it back behind the face plate. This rubber gasket, you just gotta get your finger behind it. The way you get your finger behind it is you start up here. Put, get your finger up behind here and start running the wiring all the way down. 
all the way down. Yeah, I gotta slide it over a little more. Slide it all the way down. Just keep pushing the wire. Keep shoving the wire all the way down, all the way down behind, all the way down. So you can just about see. So you can see the wire coming out, and then it just vanishes. It looks legit. Alright, now, you get up here, up to the top, you see where the wire turns and bends. Unfortunately, you know, it's going to be tough, unless you tear apart everything, you know, you just want it to look good. People aren't going to go, oh, look, that's where your wire is. No, people aren't smart enough for that shit. Slide it back behind here, and it pops out right over here. If you look at where mine is, this is my stupid sticker for my air filter, because, you know, I think I'm cool, because apparently Spectra can go 400 miles an hour. Well, that's their, their race car, but whatever, a speed car. But anyway, so it goes to the, it goes to the, uh, make it comical, it goes to the 50 mile per hour on mine. So if I take the, can the, the monitor, I stick the monitor up there, and I draw another hand, so it plugs, to go through there. The other thing you wanted to do too is you got to attach the power source for the unit. So I braided, like I said before, I ran that through the firewall of the engine bay into the cab and that's still got to be connected. It's got to be powered up and it's got to be grounded. Just make sure nothing sits on the battery. Just make sure it sits right off the side. That stays unplugged until you go to do anything. And uh, yeah, that runs right through the firewall. And it runs out the bottom here. And then that, I'm going to have to run up the side here and run up there to go across as well. Basically now what I'm doing is I'm doing the hard part. Uh, you want to do is you want to turn your mirror down towards you. It just makes life so much easier. You have these clips on the back. These slide up and down, but they're very tight. And as soon as you go to do this, it becomes difficult. I advise you so you don't fuck up. Put the wiring behind your mirror. It just makes your life just a thousand times easier afterwards. Because once this is on there, it's not, okay, I can take it off. As you pull down, you're going to notice it is really fucking tight. And of course, I'm on my Facebook page anyway. See, as it slides, you got to try to put it on like that. And then you got to grab the other side quick and try to pull that down just in time and then slide it on. Now, that mirror is on there, and it shit ain't going anywhere. That shit is tight. And now you just try to adjust it. Because now you got, you know, you got a little bit extra mirror on there. So it's, <laughs> when I first did it, it actually looks really fucking weird. And I'm like, yo, this ain't going to work. But, because I, I, my mirror, I'm used to it sitting in a certain position. So now I just got to make sure that the way I put this one, you know, I can see. And plus, it's a backup camera. I mean, that, now you're not even going to be really looking at the mirror. You're going to be looking at the monitor. So does it really matter that you look, you know, you have the camera posi the uh, uh, mirror positioned? Does it really matter that I speak English? All right, so this is the final phase of the uh, installation. Uh, I, it's all done. The... How to talk fast. One-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so I got the mirror attached. I have all the wiring run up. The white wire would be, the white plug is for if you have the monitor built into your dash. I don't. So I got to use the mirror. The red is for the power. So I ran the power wire, extended that wire, goes all the way down as you can see. Made my own wiring. I just used a 14 gauge wire, ran that through the engine bay. The red is connected to the battery. The black, which is the ground, is connected to a grounding post that I have inside the truck where I ground most of my high end electronics and stuff. High voltage, I'm sorry, not high end. Well, it is high end, but whatever. Um, then um, the rest of the wiring, there's the yellow wiring for the video feed. That runs up through there, runs around here as well, goes down, hides behind the black, goes all the way down the faceplate, out the back, as you saw prior. That's all connected, taped up. Yes, I know, this is my redneck way of shutting off the stupid alarm so I can listen to my music. Works perfect. Stupid ass beeping. Beep, 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 your keys in the ignition. No fuck. Um, that's where the music's on. Anyway, so anyway, that shit runs right out the back. Well, that runs out. It goes underneath the back of the vehicle, over the leaf springs, through the back, where it connects into the lights with uh, the reverse camera. Then the wire runs through here, up through the side, up into the housing here for the reverse light. Inside the reverse light, there's two wires. There's a red, there's a, there's a black. Uh, not a red. There's a purple, there's a black. The red is the purple, which is which is the heat, and the black is the ground, luckily, for if you have any issues with that. Now, back inside the cab. 
all that's plugged up, taped up. Then we got the main wire running up and through the side. Goes up inside here. So we'll fire this thing up. I got, I think, a minute or two left before I run out of uh, camera. Also, always start it up with a dry start like this to make sure you don't hear any cracking and stuff. I don't hear any noises, so I know I'm safe to start. Ow, one in my finger. Starts right up. Okay. You know, you want to adjust your mirror. Because, you know, it's not just your backup. You want to also see where you're going. Okay. Let me move this out. Roll forward. Okay. Put it in reverse. And, uh, I mean, it looks, doesn't look too bad. It's hard to say. It definitely needs to be adjusted. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's how you install it. And, uh, you know, the camera looks, looks decent. I never had a backup camera on this truck before, so. It looks a little purple and grainy, but I don't care. It's an old one Dodge Ram. It gives it a little bit more authentic look to it. So, I like it. Good to go.